This is another in the series on Safari for the iPad and looking at how to use all the, the features of that app. This one is going to be about the reading list. And the reading list is available on all Mac devices. So whatever you see in this video will apply also to an iPhone or an iPod Touch or any of the Mac computers, desktops and laptops. The reading list is a, a way for you to save web pages to read offline. So if you're away from a wireless internet or you're going on a plane and you want to be able to read uh, articles that you've seen in your Safari browser, you can do that using the reading list. Fairly simple to do. So I'm in Safari at the moment and I have a few uh, pages open here. And I've got the world news open and there, there are some articles here that I don't have time to read now and I might want to read later. And if I'm away from a wireless connection, I'll still be able to do that. So if I find an article, so women rescued from donation bin might be an article that I want to read later on. Uh, so to do that, sharing button and add to reading list. And let's do another one, go back to the world news and pick a different one. And it can be as many as you like. There's no limit on how many. You can sort of see it's, it's saving up here. It's saving to the reading list there. You can see the progress of that as it's saved. Uh, add to the reading list. And to see what's in your reading list, once it's been saved, this button becomes the bookmark button again. This is where you access your reading list. So it's still saving those, those pages. So I've asked it to save two. So it saved the first one. And now it's in the middle of saving this the second one because if it's got videos it's got uh, images and it's going to take a bit of time to download that into your ipad and it's sitting there in your safari cache and so once you've finished reading those articles and you really need to delete them from your reading list and we'll have a look at how you do that in a minute let's just wait for that to finish all right they've been saved so to access this is the bookmarks button to access your reading list there's the uh or articles that I saved at the, today plus some other ones and notice at the bottom you've got your three options over on the left there is the bookmark so if you tap that you're in the bookmarks and you can view your bookmarks and save your bookmarks and edit and delete and manage them in the middle is the history so I can see where I've been today and over the course of time uh, and this one is the reading list so the ones with the, the glasses so if I was to turn off my wireless, and I, I won't do that now because it'll, it'll um, affect the, the broadcast, but I could turn off my wireless, I could put the iPad into airplane mode, which will turn off all the, the communication systems. I'll still be able to read these. There are two tabs there. There's the unread uh, articles, and then there's all of the articles. So it always starts up with the unread ones. So if I tap woman rescued from donation bin, it's going to open that article. It's not going out to the internet uh, because it's already saved there and it's a, a, it's a bit difficult to show that because I'm still connected to the internet. But it's calling up on that one. Uh, it brings up all of the appropriate uh, aspects of that article and then you can read that offline. When you finish reading it, you can go back into bookmarks and you notice that it's not there now in the unread articles. If I go into all, it's sitting there. German, which one are we looking at? The woman in the, the rescued from the donation bin. It's sitting there in the second one. We've read it along with some other ones that I've read. And go back to unread and there's only three there now. If I tap this one, it's going to load up that article to read. Once I've finished with it, go back into the reading list and it's out of the unread and it's into the all. If you want to delete them, you swipe. Swipe to the left and delete them from the reading list. So everything in there, there's no way you can actually delete them in one go. So I'm going to delete all of those because it's just saving, it's taking up space. And this plus one here actually can add one. So I'm actually, uh, it's added that page that I'm on now and it's saving it for offline viewing. Let's go to another one and do that same thing. 
pick a different page. So let's go to another article. Grandmother graduates from primary school. And if I want to save that for offline reading, instead of doing the sharing button and going add to reading list, I can also go straight into the reading list and use the plus. And it's saving that one now. You'll, you'll notice in a minute there goes the, the glasses. It's saving it for offline reading. And it'll stay there until I swipe and delete. And I can delete them from the unread. I can delete them from all. 